Hi. Want to visit lesser known things in New York? Well look no further because in this video we list you 10 non-tourist places for your visit in the city. Many first-time visitors to New York often choose to visit the most famous sites such as the Empire State Building, Broadway, the Brooklyn Bridge and so on. Here are 10 overlooked places you should visit during your visit to the Big Apple. Go to a museum inside a bodega. Located in Williamsburg, the popular riverfront neighborhood in North Brooklyn, City Reliquary is a non-profit museum and civic organization housed in a small, nondescript bodega between the Bedford and Lorimer L stops. The museum traces the history of New York City's five boroughs through ephemera and cultural relics, some of which are more than a century old. The nearest subway stations are Metropolitan Avenue, Lorimer Street, and Marcy Avenue. Take the aerial tramway to Roosevelt Island. Roosevelt Island is a small island in the middle of the East River between Manhattan and Queens. This independent island community can be reached from Manhattan by the Roosevelt Island Tramway, which stops at the corner of East 59th Street and 2nd Avenue and costs $2.75 per ride. If you're coming from Queens, you can drive or walk to the island via the Roosevelt Island Bridge or take the Q102 bus line. The island offers a small residential town in the middle of New York, with parks, new housing developments and a lighthouse at its northernmost point. Visit the Real Little Italy in the Bronx. Visit the Real Little Italy and head north to the Bronx, where Italian-American culture thrives around Arthur Avenue. Unlike Little Italy in Lower Manhattan, which has shrunk to a kitschy tourist strip, New Yorkers know Arthur Avenue as the Big Apple's Real Little Italy, a neighborhood where more than two dozen Italian stores and restaurants have been around for 50 to 100 years. Here, the breads, espresso, pastas and pizzas are as authentic as can be, prepared by a proud Italian-American community. To get there by subway, take the B, D, or 4 train to Fordham Road, from there it's about a 15 to 20 minute walk. Also, Metro North will take you to its own Fordham stop, which is only a 10 minute walk away. Experience the other Chinatown. Manhattan's famed Chinatown is home to a community of Chinese immigrants, but it's also a big draw for tourists and today is best known as a place to buy cheap souvenirs. But up in Flushing, Queens, there's a more modern Chinatown with far fewer tourists. Walking through the streets, it's almost like walking through an Asian neighborhood, and the cuisine here is more diverse, in addition to Chinese food, there's also Cantonese, Korean, Taiwanese, and more. The best way to get from Flushing to Manhattan is by train, which takes 21 minutes and costs $4 to $13, and vice versa. Alternatively, you can take the bus, which costs $4 to $7 and takes 38 minutes. Get down at the Central Park Roller Disco. Every weekend in the warmer months, the asphalt near the bandstand and Bethesda Fountain in Central Park turns into a free roller disco with lots of fun. DJs spin house, funk and disco tracks for people of various ages, all of whom dance to the beat on old-school roller skates. Take the commuter ferry. Skip the tourist sightseeing cruises and take the NYC ferry to get places. The city's public ferries are just as cheap as the subway, but they're much more relaxing and scenic. In the summer months, the ferry can also take you to Governor's Island, a destination with lots of green spaces, galleries, and views of the Manhattan skyline and the Statue of Liberty. Grab an old-timey sandwich. Bypass the lines at the tourist spots and head to one of the locals' favorite sandwich shop, Eisenberg's, which has been proudly raising New York's cholesterol since 1929 Eisenberg's has been around for over 90 years and has retained its original charm. Check out the famous celebrity photos on the wall while you dine, and have egg custard and lime ricotta to go with it. You'll find Eisenberg's behind the sign, sorry, we're open, across from the iconic Flatiron Building in Manhattan. It's on 5th Avenue, the closest subway stop is 23th Street. Visit the Met Cloisters. The Metropolitan Museum of Art on Manhattan's Upper East Side is one of the city's most popular museums. 
But a few miles north, the Met Cloisters offer a peaceful, beautiful and calming place away from the hustle and bustle and noise of the city. You'll feel like you've left New York City as you explore this museum dedicated to the art and architecture of medieval Europe. This charming retreat is located near Washington Heights, Manhattan. By subway, the Met Cloisters is just a short walk from the one and the trains at the Dickman Street Station. Check out the Morgan Library and Museum. New York's most famous library is the New York Public Library, but just a few blocks away at 225 Madison Avenue, a short walk from Grand Central and Penn Station, you'll find the stunning Morgan Library and Museum. This beautiful library is a must-see for book lovers, especially because it houses some of the rarest books in the world. Watch a free comedy improv show. People's Improv Theater, also known as Pitt, is a comedy theater and training center in New York City founded in 2002 by comedian Ali Faranakian. The theater hosts performances every night. You can grab a drink at the bar before heading downstairs to see the show. The best part is that the tickets are free. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.